Hello and welcome everybody to Poppy's Playtime. I don't even know what to say. I need to make these two videos in one day, man. Uh, it, it just, I'm behind. Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Great. His hideous smile. Okay, cool. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. That's it. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Pretty Just much. Just watch. That's it. Reminds me of a Poppy movie. Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. I don't think that's Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Right. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl, just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. I'd rather go An for An entire free. hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... And there's the flower. That's either where I, I that's where I have to go, I'm guessing. Knowing that that's a factory. Knowing that I'm stuck in another factory. So this is gonna be just like Bendy, I'm guessing. But just different. Maybe a lot different anyway. Vintage poppy commercial, everyone thinks the stat disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Yeah, okay, so I do have to find the flower. All right, that's cool. All right, let's get started. I dropped. All right, as this is loading, um, this really reminds me of something. I wouldn't say Bendy exactly knowing. The Garden of Ban Ban also has something like this anyway. Welcome. A green tea. Lathy. Can I read that? Oh, items. No, I can't read it. Okay. Green tape. I, I couldn't. Uh -huh. Hi, my yes, name sir. is Lathe Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. No, I'm not. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Not For really example, good if I sneaked in. This facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. You and should, buddy. that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. Well, I'd rather go this you're way. Certain whatever you're doing is worth it. No, it's really worth it. I mean, uh, you see Braun over here; he thinks it's worth it. Uh, come on, uh, it can't be that bad. Is that candy? Is that? That's candy. A train. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, candy. So it is candy. They're ripping it off. Okay. Now I know. Boogie bot. A dancing robot. You know, this company can get sued by candies. Poppy wants to play. But it does have a lot of original aspects. Oh, the train. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, is there... I can jump. Right? I can... I can. A hand? 
I already got it. Um, go back, go back. Get this in there. Get the. F yeah, okay. Like brawn. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Did I miss anything else? No, I didn't. Green, pink, yellow, red. Hey there. Green, pink, yellow, red. Alright. Um, we made it in. And I see a little thing in here, you know? What is this? Grab pack train. I can't grab it. Tighten the straps. Pull both cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold the grip button. Oh, hold it to grip behind to the object. Only fire at small objects handle. Slash fire. Do not fire at a core. Or you might fucking kill me. Right? The wire is conductive, used for rewiring. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. And don't go killing someone. Oh, you guys are so good at your... Ways... It just op opened. At your ways to not get sued, you guys really have really concerning strats. Oh, elastic man. How far can I grab him? A little bit closer? I don't even think I touched the wall. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, damn! I can grab anything. I mean, they did say small objects and I just grabbed a slightly bigger object. I mean, I don't think it should be much of a problem. I mean... There we go, there's... That guy, welcome to... Plate. High five. Anyway, um, Huggy Wuggy. His name's Huggy Wuggy. 1984. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with more people more than the original Huggy Wuggy. Oh, I mean that that of yeah whatever. Our our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. It's. It, is always true playtime co four step process of creating the most lifelike toys was a success with a bit of string and poly tester our lovable blue pal huggy has brought to life was brought to life huggy wuggy has gone on to the playtime co uh, most popular and best selling toy so far I don't think that's good, but all right. What is that? Does a cat? What? Is, what even is? That? Oh, it's broke. Power. Man, it needs a key. Key. You did not have that. You, even if you did grab it, how did you do it so fast? I'm watching you. I can't see. Oh, okay, that's a door. This is two. What the? What was that? Um, okay. Oh, um. I broke it. I can. Oh, I can't do anything with it. Oh, electricity. Um. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. Okay. Nice. And he disappeared, no wonder. The things are closed. Huggy. Yeah. Huggy. Now I'm in the spotlight. 
I cannot see because it is so dark in this room. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, power. Hey, he looks. You know, testing. Remember that? I'm not testing everything to see what I can or cannot open. Is that him? Oh hey, you're not hiding from me, are you? He's pretty fast for whatever he is. I mean. He's more like a robot, right? I mean, would I call him a robot? Yeah, it's like a robot. I need an orange table. What is that? Is it oh, I mean, that's what I was using the blue was for. Remember to take breaks, Huggy says. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to gra Yeah, I'm supposed to normally grab it. That's lame. That actually sucks. I'm supposed to, like, be able to, I don't know, use extension arm over here. Like, yeah, like that. I need two arms. Okay, so let's grab that thing first. Uh, there's two more, I'm guessing. And I haven't seen a green tape anywhere. Anyway. in this room oh it's orange it's orange okay my fault my bad my bad let's put these here to see what they do glove can help me a little bit at least all right let's see here orange 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 oh uh-huh nowhere to be found eh just use this I mean, there's no way to here Yeah, I know it's not in there. There's no way it's in there. Such a random detail in the game. It has been I don't know how long and I still... Well, it was here the whole time. Security camera of Rich. I can't read Avery. Okay, got it. That's all it says, that's all it says. Okay, let's see what it wants. What do you gotta tell us? Turn on. Okay. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly! Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Yeah, oh, nice I swear, too. I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but... Uh, just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... Is that even a word? Habitable. I do that all the time, too. Say a word and I don't even know what the hell it is. Hey. You're just going insane. It's just a company. It's just a company. All right, over here. Okay, so you can't go up there. And people are screaming. Just ignore it. 
You grab that. You go up. Uh, you don't go up. You go over here. So it's long as I get to the. Oh, the other arm has a little Hey there. Yeah, I'm supposed to hit it, but it didn't do it. So let's try that again. So we're gonna go all the way around. Bop. All right. Let's try to hit it from up here. Is there a barrier? Oh, it's because of the reach. Got it. Really? Uh, I have to get the reach too? Alright. Okay. Got you. No, I, I got you. Okay, so if it's not from up here... Yeah, I don't see how it could be over here. It has to be from up here. Go further than that? How am I supposed to? Okay, it's just like. Hmm. I don't know how this would make sense, but. No, 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 no. Go back up there. Okay, grab over there. And then go. Oh, got it. There. Why did that take us? So there's gonna be so many of those. Alright, as we slide up, apparently, uh, there's nothing. Okay, what did I do? Did I press something? No, I can't grab anything. I am just sliding. And, oh, okay, we slide right through. And then there's Mickey Mouse looking face over there. Alright. Oh, it needs power, great. Uh, anyways, where were we? Make a friend, 1960. Our founder, Ellie Lovewood, was a visionary. He set, all, he set the stage for all of Playtime Co. greatest feats. Yet, all of the amazing things that we cr he created. That Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co.'s toy sold on the market to this day. All it, needs, it, all it needs is to be fed proper parts, and then it will be painted, assembled, and do a quality inspection of toy all on its own. Gone is the need to, for complex sorting or back-breaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Alright, so this is the machine. And then there's this, that. Spider-Man, not but lamer because why is it so glitched? Ow! All right. Oh, that kind of doesn't fall. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't go like this. There we go. Make a friend.
See my toy because apparently that's more important. Oh, look. There we go. Stop. I said jump from up there, but no. That looks. I don't want to enter that hallway at all. Oh, hey there! You look pretty friendly. Oh, you're pretty tall. You're pretty, pretty tall. You walk pretty slowly, you know. You give me a lot of time. Slide! Alright. Yippee! That sounds pretty fun. Hey, how are you? You're not gonna get me, are you? He really went from very slow to really quick in like 10 seconds. Don't let them get inside. Get up. <sighs> Pretty devastated I couldn't find that tape. They are very sneaky with what they do. I finally found it. After years, I mean, I was looking down there because I thought, I don't know, it'd be on top of there behind it or something. And even if I, I was just looking over there because I don't know, maybe I missed it somewhere. Nope, it's right there. Very camouflaged. I couldn't read it though because it didn't really tell me. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult, but your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest That's people it. to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. What a weird thing to say, alright, cool. You know what, whatever. Hey, that's... I wish you just went poof! <laughs> alright, fair enough. And you, we gotta talk. Cause for a big guy, you're pretty slow. But in the vents, you're really fast, I don't understand. So we're just gonna run. Alright, big guy. Call the shots, alright? You're the man. Yeah, I can't really do anything to him. Wee. <laughs> ah, pretty fun. Oh, hey there. No, 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 no. I'm running away from you. I'm running away. No, thank you. No. We're gonna go this way. 
because it says danger. Anywhere where it's danger, you go. Oh. Don't. I did that, whatever that says. Okay, we. Uh, I'm cornered. Hey there. Oh, I had to go to the left. I didn't see it. It's too early to die. I actually like these screens. Get up. Alright, fair enough. Alright, so all we have to do is keep running. Got it. I thought it was quartered and something was gonna happen, but apparently not. It was just... Okay, last time we did. than just yours. Get up. <laughs> okay, thank you for the motivational speech. Damn it, you. Yeah. How am I floating? I guess I was hanging on. I, I mean, I can't really hang on. <gasps> the flower. The rose. The poppy. The... Playtime, the what are the what are, I don't care. Uh, but anyway, so we're just gonna run towards it. I guess. I mean, there's no other thing I can do. It's a TV screen. Can I? I'm guessing I can turn this on somehow. I guess I'll find out how. You know what? I'm not leaving this place. I want to see how I can turn that on. Oh, it's right there. I didn't even, I didn't even see it. That's very cool. And let's see. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. That's creepy. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Okay, there, guys. Something else? Alright. Okay. You're not gonna get me with this again. You're, you, think you, you think you're smarter than me, but you're not. Trust me. She opened her eyes in the chapter and did, I guess. You opened my case. I did. That was it? <laughs> okay, wow, that was something. Okay, cool. 
All right, that was part one is gonna be uploaded. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty fun. I right, hope you enjoyed. Pretty interesting knowing that they only showed two characters. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna save the commercial stuff. I love it. Uh, I, I love the commercial stuff about this game. It, it really brought like a spark to the game in a way. Loving that. Alright, goodbye.